today's Amanita series, we're going to be discussing one of our common members of Section Vaginata, the Tawny Grisette, also known as Amanita Fulva. Isn't she pretty? Well, some characteristics to know on this. Section Vaginata is um, small, grassle. They can be tall, um, generally grassle in shape. If we note the cap, you'll notice these striate margin here. This one, you can see this brown color that fades almost to white at the margin with these eh, brighter colors in between. Um, hence the tawny name, the tawny referring to the color, this uh, brown ochre kind of color. And as a rosette, we know that she doesn't have a skirt. And noticing what she's growing out of, they typically grow out of a cup uh, vulva. Some grisettes are friable. Uh, this one being a common member of our Northeast uh, section vaginata, this one does grow from a pretty firm cup that sticks around doesn't crumble up as in other members so with all Amanita what we want to do is dig her up let's see if we can clean some of this dirt off to get a better view so Something I do like to recommend with all Amanita is take note of the short gills that are on here. If we can see here, we have diverse lengths, some short ones up top here, and they come about midway down. Uh, and we can see here that they have a truncate shape, which is kind of cut off, mildly rounded on a few, but relatively square. And we can also note on the stem there was no presence of an analyst uh, ever on this. And then we have this vulva cup. Let's focus on the vulva cup, being this is Amanita fulva. So, as we can see here, it has a, a, a firm cup shape that doesn't deteriorate. And we note these brown discolorations on the cup, uh, which is a characteristic of Amanita fulva. You'll notice this sometimes brownish coloration on the stem and definitely brownish coloration on the cap but the characteristic here if we can spin her around let's see if i can zoom in you see that brown little splotch and as we go around a little bit on the top of the cup closer to the bottom we notice these rusty kind of splotches developing which is characteristic to amanita fulva as one of our Grisettes in New England, the Tawny Grisettes. Now this one is rather small. I've seen them larger than this. I've seen them longer than my hands. I've seen them longer than my forearm uh, in very giant extreme cases, but they're typically a small grassel mushroom. And in section vaginata, uh, they're all edible. So a good one to note uh, if you're considering edibility is your section vaginata and grisettes, the growing from a cup vulva or friable vulva with no skirt and striations on the cap. And that's it for today's Amanita series, Amanita Fulva, the Tawny Grisette.